Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylitfromstudios.co.uk and welcome to episode 3 of my Studio One 4 series. And in today's video we're going to be looking at this guy. This is the brand new drum editor. It is very cool. And uh, it is a little bit reminiscent of maybe Cubase and maybe older versions before that like maybe Steinberg. Pro 24 way back in the 1980s if you can remember that so it's a little bit reminiscent of that which is nice um, because I was very very familiar with that I used that an awful lot in the, the 80s um, and so it's nice to get a little bit of a throwback to it so this is very very cool over here you have your instrument list the different voices of the drum set and they're all color coded which is very very nice now this is the cool thing you can select a different note and you can edit the pitch bend, the velocity, the modulation, the aftertouch. You can do whatever you like here to um, uh, to the audio and uh, to sorry to the MIDI events. And it it's just very cool. Rather than having to you know kind of like do it globally, which is what you had to do with the piano roll. So this is very nice. So I'm just going to adjust some of these kick drums, make it a little bit more how I would how I would play it. Okay. All right, let's have a listen to what we got. I'll play the whole thing. Okay, this is pretty much exactly what I would do with the kick drum um, if I was actually playing my own drum set. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to finesse this drum part and make it sound a little bit more interesting. So we're going to add some ghosted notes. So I'm going to go into this snare drum here. I'm going to grab my drumstick and I'm just going to start adding in and making them really, really quiet. So kind of like down here. Okay. So let's get them in there. So at the moment we're going to be full volume. I know exactly where I want to put them, which is where I would where I would play them. I can just turn off this audition notes thing and then I can just click normally. And I have to keep on hearing it go bang bang bang. <laughs> which is gonna be annoying for everybody. So let's turn that off for now. And I'm just about done. All right, there we go. So they are all at the same velocity level, which is not what I want. So I want my main notes on the backbeat to be nice and loud, but these guys I want to make as quiet as possible. And so you just you just click at the um, at the spot that you want it to to be at. All right, so let's hear what this will now sound like. Hopefully, this will sound much funkier. Okay, yep, pretty good. I can still make these even quieter, which I will do uh, after the fact once this video is done. But that gives you an idea of just some of the things you can do. And notice how the color of the notes changes according to the velocity. So they're kind of a, um, a more sort of bluey color when they're quiet and then a red for loud. Kind of like using blue being cold, red being hot, hot being loud, um, cold being quiet um, kind of uh, color scheme, which is very, very useful. And the other thing that's very, very cool about all of this, there was a feature request to have the edit window over here and the arrange view synchronized so that uh, when you move one or when the cursor is in one, it is also in the same spot in the other. So uh, Personas did that and they give you this button here, synchronize editor to arrangement, which is very cool. So I can do this in one window and it happens in the other which is very cool but also if I put the cursor back to the beginning it's all kind of lined up 
nice and neatly. So they're exactly in sync, which is very, very handy, so that you can see what's going on in both windows at a glance. So there you have it, folks. That's just um, a little bit of an overview and a taster of the the brand new drum editor. Hope you found it helpful. Please um, like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to my channel as well, and uh, you'll get notification um, of when the next video is coming out. Especially if you hit that notification bell, you'll get uh, a notification of when the next video in this series is coming out. So stay tuned, folks. Videos are going to be coming kind of um, every day or every couple of days, something like that. Um, is what I'm going to try and achieve. All right, folks, there you have it, the drum editor. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.